This Google Shopping ad I just came across does roughly $9,973 every single day. And in this video, I want to cover over their strategy as to how they're able to scale so successfully when it comes to Google Ads in general. So this is one video you're definitely gonna wanna watch until the end. But the ad I am referring to is this ad right here, this first one by a brand called Cloud Slides. Now, this is a very interesting product. It looks like this product actually went viral on TikTok ads first before people actively started to search for this product on Google. And as of now, there is very crazy demand for this specific product in general. I mean, if we open the Google Keyword Planner tool and just write in the keyword Cloud Slide to get a better idea of how much demand there actually is, we can see that in total, there's about 100,000 to 130,000 average monthly searches done every single month when it comes to this specific product. And if we kind of increase the time frame, we can see it started to go viral in 2021 and 2022 is when really things started to take off for this specific product. Now it does look like there's a little bit of a drop in terms of the overall search volume, but in the recent time it has started to increase again, which is a very good sign. But for this specific ad right here, let's understand now exactly why this specific ad and why this specific brand is so successful when it comes to Google Ads. To figure that out, we're gonna have to go on over to their landing page to get a general idea of how this brand looks and performs when it comes to its ideal audience. So first things first, when we land right on the landing page, we get this very interesting, very customized landing page design, customized landing page layout, which potentially is what their audience wants to see. And this is the first step in order to doing multi five figures, multi six figures, even multi seven figures with Google ads. It's about getting your landing page design on point. I mean, if we look right here, their overall little icons for each of these variations, they're custom made to suit that individual product itself, which I thought was very interesting. If we look right here, they have a little bit of a timer going on there. It looks like there's a sale of some sort. And then if we scroll down, there's different sizes available and there's different kinds of checkout badges here, which I think add a lot of extra trust factors to the landing page design. And by the way, trust badges still work in 2023 and onwards. You just need to use the right kind of trust badge. But then we see a little bit of an offer going on where they say get one pair for free and it's basically getting three pairs for the price of two pairs, which we'll be discussing very shortly as to why this is so important and so beneficial that this brand is offering something like this. But if we scroll down, they have gifts going on within their actual description and then all of their images, it looks to be very high quality. These are all winning factors of an ideal landing page. And then at the very end, it says get help. When you click on it, it opens up this little contact us box, which I thought was actually very interesting because a lot of e-commerce brands nowadays, they're trying to avoid getting their customers in contact with them. But this e-commerce brand, it decided to have a pop-up for the contact us page. But overall, the landing page design is very simple, very straightforward. There's the Luke's reviews at the very bottom. All of these are just photo images of the product, very simple, nothing too crazy in terms of what most e-commerce brands do, but what they are doing right is they have chosen the specific colors, they have chosen their specific product images, even their variation kind of style here based on their ideal customer and their ideal audience member, because obviously somebody who would buy these cloud slides is not gonna be an older person or an older lady trying to buy these cloud slides, it's gonna be more of the younger audience if you just use some common sense, but the reason why this kind of landing page design and approach is working for this brand is because they have got their ideal audience in mind and then they design their landing page based around their ideal audience. Obviously because people are buying and people are spending a lot more time on their landing page, Google is considering this to be a good factor because if you were not aware of this, one of the important metrics Google takes into account to understand if your ad is something that Google should be pushing towards the front, towards the top five, top one places or not, is the bounce rate. And of course, bounce rate is higher when somebody just comes onto your landing page and then they immediately leave. That's what drives these bounce rates up. So really for your Google ads campaigns or just your Google ads account to do anywhere close to these kinds of numbers, you need to start your approach with your landing page. You need to get the landing page appropriately set up for your ideal audience, for your ideal customer. Now, 
This is gonna depend on what niche you are in. If you're in a more outdoorsy, rugged niche, obviously it's fine to use things like black backgrounds or very dark colors. Why? It's because of your niche. So these things you should not be copying other brands that are not in your niche, or you should not even be copying in general. It should be based off of the data that's coming in, but also based off of common sense. But really, that's where this brand Cloud Slides goes right. And by the way, I know it's doing around $9,000 to $10,000 every single day because I'm not gonna name another brand which is on this list right here, which we were working with, which actually was doing $10,000 per day back when we were working with that brand under my Google Ads agency, Your Marketing. And that brand is still appearing here because of the Google Ads campaigns we set up. I'm not gonna name that brand for obvious security reasons. And despite not ranking number one here, that brand was doing around $10,000 per day. Through our Google Ads campaigns, it still is doing $10,000 per day with Google Ads. Unfortunately, we do not work with that brand anymore because they wanted to take everything in-house and not work with an external agency. But from the landing page, then the next thing is about the ad itself. What is the reason exactly when it comes to the ad, which is helping it do roughly $10,000 every single day. Let's start off with the most important aspect of every single Google shopping ad, which is the product image. Now, I want you to compare this product image right here with all of these different images that are coming up here. The interesting thing is that specific product, which is ranking number one, none of these other brands are using that same exact image which you know that's where the first portion of success really comes from and this image right here is for these pink cloud slides which i assume is then directed more towards women's and females which could be their main audience but nonetheless if we just forget about what audience it is the main kind of success that comes from google comes from the image itself you always want to make sure your image is different from your competitors and in this case because this product right here is pink because this image right here none of these other brands are really selling a pink specific cloud slide now this one is pink but it's completely different in terms of style design it's pointing to a different direction which by the way makes a very big impact but because all of these things are different this image right here immediately pops out now i know the, this looks kind of small but if we go on over to shopping it should be the normal size images right here so like these ones right here but that brand is not appearing first here because the last shopping section is a little bit different from this one but regardless you need to have an image that stands out from your competitors now that does not mean you need to go out and find a product which is completely different from your competitors but that does mean even if you sell the same exact product as somebody else you find a way to differentiate your image so to give you a quick example if i was selling this white colored cloud slides myself and this was kind of the image i had in mind instead of using the same exact image what i would do is if i wanted to use the same image i would flip the image around so these slippers they would now be pointed towards the right side instead of getting pointed to the left side like this but if i had the option of using multiple different images or using some other image which is i potentially can use then i would have definitely used an image which helps me stand out of the crowd but again when it comes to the image 90 percent of your success is determined from the image you gotta make sure you find a way to differentiate yourself but then that takes us to the title itself i want you to notice the interesting thing thing with these titles coming up here if you look right here for all of these titles it's separated by these brackets right here right in the middle and that doesn't necessarily mean now you need to go inside your own product and start adding these brackets what you do need to do is you need to number one have search engine optimized keywords within your titles but also number two make sure your title makes sense so for example if we read the title it says original cloud slide slippers for women shower shoes home pillow slide it's basically a repetition of different seo keywords this brand used but the way that they used it is they put the most search keyword and the most relevant keywords more towards the front while putting the less relevant keywords more towards the end such as shower shoes or home pillow slides these are a little bit less relevant to this product compared to original cloud slides or slippers for women so that's what they did and they also included those keywords more towards the front which are more searched than those keywords at the end so the way you lay out your titles is very important 
there's only two things you need to keep in mind to achieve these kinds of results. Number one, you gotta make sure you have search engine optimized keywords within your titles. There's no exception to this. But number two, you gotta make sure that your title, it's readable for an average user. So if I'm a customer, I'm trying to buy these cloud slides. If I see a very messy title and it's not separated by these brackets, but rather it's just a bunch of commas one after the other, obviously I'm not gonna be too inclined to kind of purchase from that specific brand because I would not classify them as professional where like for example this one right here even though it's lululemon they have not capitalized lululemon right here and that immediately made me think that that might not be kind of a trustable brand even though lululemon itself is not supposed to be capitalized at least the first letter but you know that's how kind of normal users think then that brings us to the actual pricing if you look at the pricing it's not the cheapest nor is it the most expensive i mean the most expensive i would say are by lululemon for 58 dollars the most cheapest i would say are by temu for six dollars and eight cents so their goal here to rank number one and do ten thousand a day it was never to be the cheapest nor was it to be the most expensive it was to be average average works best when it comes to google shopping ads and that's what you want to be focusing on but in addition to that i think where they could have really benefited is if they had added these reviews right here that would have really helped them stand out but nonetheless they're still number one so it doesn't really matter they do offer free shipping and it's mentioned right here directly within shopping ads which is what you want to be doing then there's also a return policy that's kind of shown within the shopping ad itself this can be done via the google merchant center but the reason why all of these things work why their landing page works is because they're not just relying on shopping ads because if you haven't noticed yet the first ad that comes up which is a sponsored google search ad is by this brand right here so not only are they dominating with google shopping ads by being number one but they're also dominating google search ads by being number one this should be your ultimate goal to doing five thousand ten thousand twenty thousand dollars every single day or more when it comes to Google ads. But again, in terms of Google shopping, they're able to drive a lot of revenue just because of the overall approach. And the same thing goes for Google search ads. But kind of my overall thoughts as to how to scale this even further if you're in a similar situation, because once you rank within the top one to top five listings, there's really not too much benefit of going from number five to number one or number three to number one, because you're already kind of in the top five listings. You might as well just be number three, number four, or number five without paying extra to be number one. That can be the difference between you being profitable versus you barely breaking even or even actually going in a loss. So if you're already at this level where you're in the top five listings, then you'd want to take it a bit further. You want to then start ranking number one to number five with search ads. You want to try display ads, discovery ads, YouTube retargeting. There are so many different ways to go once you kind of get the hang of Google shopping ads. But to make that happen in the first place, you definitely need to have the right approach and the right strategy which if you're doing forty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen but i want you to watch this video right here on my google shopping ad strategy for 2023 and onwards it explains how to be ranking number one to number five with the right approach